Hello everybody, I am The Warm, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3. It is a new day, and I am recording much earlier. <laughs> I finally had a, a day off where I could plan accordingly, and so I feel refreshed, and I feel ready to take on this trial. Although, I'm not quite ready. I need to go over all of our truth bullets, because we kind of got... Uh, we got quite a few of them in a bit of a rush last time. So, we need to put this all together and maybe come up with a few ideas. I, I already have some, but maybe something will something else will pop out as I go through this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this thing. Truth bullets. All right. Monokuma file number five. The victim's body was discovered in the hangar where the Exosol is stored. The victim was crushed by a hydraulic press for this reason. Their remains cannot be identified. Okay, fairly straightforward. Hydraulic presses controls are a short distance away from the device itself. There are two buttons labeled up and down. It also features a safety function. The body was crushed by the hydraulic press and is undefi unidentifiable. Yep. Okay. Safety function. The hydraulic press's safety function causes it to stop when its infrared sensor detects a living thing. Could... Hmm. Just a thought. I don't think this is going to be the case. I think it's... If there's going to be a trick, I don't think it'll be this. But I'm wondering, could someone... Could someone disable that sensor, sensor or, or walk it or destroy it in some way. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case because we, one of the truth bullets isn't the sensor itself and we didn't, you know, we didn't get to examine that on the hydraulic press, so that's probably not going to matter. But just, just a thought. Okay, swipe pattern bloodstain. A bloodstain that is smeared through the hangers, ba from the hangers bathroom to the hydraulic press as though something was dragged. Yep, fair enough. So clearly, whoever died, Kaito or Kokichi, was dragged to the... Their body was dragged to the press. Patches, electronic lock. Huh, okay, so the Exosol is actually in the room in the picture. So maybe, maybe I was misremembering last time. Okay, the two exosols at the scene of the crime, one was in storage with its cockpit closed, the other was in the middle of the hangar with its hatch open and its cockpit exposed. There is enough space in the cockpit for one person. There's an electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can open. Bathroom window, a window roughly eight inches wide, although it's too small for a person an optic could fit through it. Large black case case that had been, excuse me, that had a disassembled, disassembled crossbow in it. The crossbow does not fit in the case unless it is disassembled. Crossbow, a disassembled crossbow from the Ultimate Assassin's Research Lab. It was stored in a large black case. It was complicated to assemble and would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. Thus that narrows to... Maki or Kaito, since th she taught him. Three arrows found on the floor of the hangar's bathroom. The tips of all three arrows were wet with blood. Small empty bottle found in the corner of the left bathroom. The label is stained with blood, so the only visible p word is poison. It still seems very strange to me why you couldn't just wash it off. I don't know, would, would, the, would the water destroy the label? or, or I don't know. Maybe. Uh, determined to have come from the Ultimate Detective's research lab, and my thought was that this carried the, what was it, Strike 9? Poison? Is Strychnine a thing? I know that all the poisons were, you know, they were jokes based on real poisons. Hang on, let me Google this one. Yeah, strychnine, I think. I can't remember what the other three were. I was able to recognize the other three. But this one... 
Okay, it took me till right now, just now, to recall what that is a parody of. Strickening. Strike nine, strickening. At least, I think that's how it's pronounced. Could be wrong. Okay, so... I guess the question is, what, what was the plan exactly? We know that some of the poison was taken out. Some of the Strike 9 poison was taken out of the bottle in the lab. And then they also took the antidote. Gonna have to think about that. Blood stain in the bathroom. Small puddle of blood in the middle of the hangar's bathroom. Smaller blood stains were found leading to the door out of the bathroom. Kaito's coat. When the body was discovered, only the left sleeve was sticking out from the hydraulic press. A single small hole can be seen where the sleeve is sticking out. Okay, was... In, here's a question. Was that intentional? Whichever one that did this, did they leave that sleeve specifically to try and make us think it was Kaito? Or did it just happen to... I'm going to think it was intentional, considering the fact since we discovered Kokichi's clothes in the toilet, I think that was th this was part of the plan the whole time. Okay, Kibo's account. The night before the body was discovered, Himiko was seen coming. Excuse me, was seen going to the hangar and coming back before the Exosols returned. She had a black bag with her on on the way there, but she didn't have it when she came back. Hangar's front shutter. It is protected by an electric barrier, and if someone approaches it, an alarm will sound throughout the, like, the academy. The alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. Control panel for the shutter... Excuse me. Control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter. It has marks on it as if... as though it was struck by something sharp. That... that is the... that's... the markings on it. The... struck by something sharp. I mean, the exosols... Where are they? Yeah, it's not like they have a claw or something for their hand. So what would have done that? Electrobomb. When used, it scatters particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves, rendering electronic communication and sensors unusable. Lasts for about two hours and covers an area of about 50 yards. Each can only be used once. The three that were made, Kokichi had two, and Amaki had one. And Shuichi at one point was questioning about the state of the other two. Not entirely sure what to think of that. Used Electro Hammer found on the ground near the three Exosols on in the cyber courtyard. Electro Hammers that can disable any electronic device they're used on. However, they run out of power very quickly, and a single use on an Exosol will completely drain an Electro Hammer. After being drained, they require 24 hours of charging to be used again. The day before the body was discovered, the Exosols surrounding Monokuma in the courtyard were given commands to observe his movements via the remote control Kokichi had. Yep, and I've always already talked about how suspicious that seems. Okay, there are many poisons lined up on the shelf in the Ultimate Detectives Research Lab. Out of all of them, only the Strike 9 poison bottle had less poison in it. It takes, it takes some time for Strike 9 to take fully effect, but it is 100% fatal, even if there's a small amount, even if a small amount enters the body. No one had seen Kokichi during the entire investigation or up to until the start of the class trial. Uh, Kokichi's clothes found stuffed in the toilet in the hangar's bathroom. Small holes were found in the back and on one sleeve. Both holes had traces of blood around them. That's all we have to work with. So, initial impressions. Uh, I'm wondering if there was a kind, if there were multiple, multiple people 
we're acting independently at the same time. I'm wondering. Uh, like, we know Kibo was was getting ready to make... He, he was writing something to give to Kokichi to try and get him to stop or something. And that's when he saw Himiko going in with a black case. So... You gotta wonder... Did she... You know, Shuichi did his own scouting, but... At what point did... At what point would she have talked to Kaito to, to ha sort of hatch this plan? And it is, it is very interesting to me that it's Himiko and not Maki. That's, that was what threw me off. So, perhaps at some point Himiko did that. He, she talked to Kaito, delivered the crossbow, presumably as well the poison. And maybe Maki was the one, maybe she on her own decided to use her Electro Hammer or Kaito's. Still don't know what happened to Kaito's Electro Hammer. But we apparently all had ours, and only Maki was the one that said she was missing her. Or that she forgot to charge it? I can't remember specifically what she said, but she didn't have it with her. Maybe she's the one that went and used it on the Exosol. Then she could drive it in there. But of course that gets murky, because what how what in the world would have happened after she drove it in there? I guess if I have to And you know, I've had to say this time and time again. How my initial I pretty much never guess correctly on the initial guess, but in my head I'm imagining this kind of scenario where maybe Kaito, who, you know, we just had it revealed that Kokichi's, he's the mastermind, right? He's the, he's the guy. And Kaito, who is, uh... Kaito, who, uh... Okay, so he, he, he knows that Kokichi's the guy. Mastermind. And he knows he's not gonna live for that much longer. Maybe he decided to go for some kind of revenge? Or at least, if we don't want to put it that negatively, maybe just for the safety of the rest of us, decided to try and kill Kokichi, and that's where he hatched this plan with the crossbow. I'm not sure, but, uh, and maybe he used the, the poison just to uh, make sure Kokichi would die. The thing is, I'm wondering about the antidote. Where would that have played a part? Well, okay, certainly the specifics I have no idea about, but maybe after killing Kokichi, I, well, the thing is, this this really depends on whether or not he, he thought, Kaito, whether Kaito thought that the killing game was over or not, because I could imagine maybe he killed Kokichi and then also either died or killed himself in order to, you know, not, we, we not have to do this trial and, uh, you know, have to convict him. But the issue with that is he's missing now. Why, if, if he were going to do that, you'd think he would uh, make his intentions known. 
But not only is he missing, none of his, uh, none of the people he worked with, which we know one of them has to be Himiko, and I was thinking maybe Maki, no one sort of spoke up and said, oh, this is part of the plan. He, he killed Kokichi and then killed himself, so we can just, you know, we can vote on Kaito and we can move on. But that hasn't happened, so I guess that's not a possibility. I'm not sure if I said this last time, but a part of me wonders if both of them are under that press. Instead of just one of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not sure. But, like, worst case scenario is, you know, Kaito's already dead. That would be the worst. No, 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 that, this is setting up for the worst. Worst case scenario is Kaito's dead. And then it turns out that Maki, in helping Kaito, turned out to be the one that killed Kokichi or, or something. I don't know. That's kind of my big worry. Now we know that Monokuma, he has, a, he has some key information that he needs to tell us as this trial gets underway. Uh, it's related to the reason why we're not seeing Kokichi, because everyone thinks Kokichi's still alive and every, all the students have to be here. Uh, and so I'm not sure if he's gonna outright tell us that, you know, they're both dead, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I definitely feel... I feel worried. <laughs> Don't have many fragments. Trying to see what is the most general. Slow speed of reticle. I might get that actually. I guess the question is by how much? Both of these would obviously be very good, but I do not have, and I most most probably will never be able to get that much by the end of the game. Let's try upshift. might have been good too. Well, but maybe with the faster scroll speed. Okay, let's... I think that's alright. Okay. Man. I don't like it. I don't like where we're going with this. What does it say? Unified against the mastermind Kokichi, the students must survive a class trial without knowing the murderer or the victim. An unpress, excuse me, an unpredictable trial 
begins. Okay, we'll see, guys. It says it says unpredictable, so I can't, I couldn't possibly be able to predict what's going to happen here. Okay, see, that makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do this thing. with a basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> Seriously? Sorry, Kibo. What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, oh, don't make that face, killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances... I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. Okay, are, is that... Monokuma, be straight with me. Are you... Are you confirming? You're confirming that, that someone else is still alive, right? I... I... I desperately want that confirmation. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. That seems pretty definitive to me. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. So, I mean, what do we think? What would the... What would the writers of this go for? Would they... Want it to be... What? Hang on. Isn't that... I guess it's too easy to just assume that whether it's Kaito or Kokichi, whoever is the person alive, it'd be too easy to just automatically assume they were the culprit, right? That's what's so... Ugh, the fact that the other person is still alive is just... We've not even started, really, and I feel thrown off. Okay. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Oh, what I was gonna say. Would... If you were writing this, what would be... What would be worse? You know, having it be that Kokichi's dead, Kaito's still alive, and yet Kaito is the one who killed, so we have to vote him off. Or, it's Kokichi, he's still alive, but he wasn't actually the one who killed. And so it's a double whammy of Kaito is dead, plus we have to vote off someone else that we like. Which would be... which would be more terrible? I mean, part of me thinks Kokichi has been such a huge uh, antagonist in this game. I can't... It's almost hard to believe that if he would have an end, that it would be just sort of off-screen, that we don't see. That's what... I mean, so, so that's obviously more of a meta theory than anything that's backed up in-game, but... Part of me thinks that at some point Kokichi's gonna s just step out here and, you know, start mocking us again. Yeah, that's the 
only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. Uh, Maki, can you please just... I understand per uh, perfectly well how difficult this is going to be. But let's just walk through the evidence piece by piece, okay? But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. So, okay, that could be interesting. Do you, do you suppose that the first half of this trial is going to be all about the victim? And then the second half will be suspect? Hmm. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Hey, I thought you were going to... Himiko, you were going to stop talking like that, weren't you? Okay. First non-stop debate. Oh my goodness. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. <laughs> if only. Okay, I think I see what to do. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence. That's wrong! I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. So, I gotta say, so we used that, what was it, updrift? My, I, at least, I, I guess I would have to see a comparison. But I'm not sure the reticle feels that much quicker. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. <laughs> you, uh... Certainly not a very confident, uh, assertion. Is true. Makes me wonder. I don't know. Clearly, clearly, Kaito had a plan. So you'd think Maki was probably part of it. I guess Himiko was too. It looks like Kibo, Tsumugi, and Shuichi were kind of left out. That's what it see. That's what the initial. That's what it feels like initially. The thing is, why would he leave Shuichi out of it? You know, we had that conversation with Kaito in the bathroom, and he said those vague-sounding statements like, you know... Oh, what did he say? They were vague and death flag-like. <laughs> like, I'm leaving it... I'm leaving the rest to you, Shuichi, and st stuff like that. Why wouldn't he... If he had a plan, why wouldn't he tell Shuichi? That's my question.
I mean, we were certainly... From the last trial and for a good por portion of this chapter, we were feeling awkward around each other. I just had this thought, now that I said that. I really hope that that didn't... Do you think that sort of rift that was opened up by Kokichi in the last trial between Shuichi and Kaito... Would that have been a big enough of a rift that Kaito felt the need to cut Shuichi out? That is to say, he, tr he doesn't trust Shuichi anymore, or... And maybe that's why, if he made a plan, he would only tell Maki? Hmm... I mean, I, I hope that isn't the case. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Yeah? What about them? It, yeah, it, the question, it's probably going to be about the, the hole in the sleeve. Because if it was Kaito with the crossbow, and clearly it looks like Kokichi got shot, how did it come to pass that that Kaito was then shot. Probably the sleeve. That's it. Yeah. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Oh, so not the hole just yet. But yeah, that was my question. What is is it was it a, it seems almost intentional that it was left that way. If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Hang on. I don't know about that, Shuichi. Look. He, he didn't usually have his arms through the sleeves. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? I'm actually not sure I agree with this, Shuichi. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. Okay. Okay. Rude, Maki. That is, uh, that is uncalled for. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else but Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough? What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Okay, so this is... this is what we have to do. Yep. Oh, the bloodstain. Always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words! Yeah, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Shuichi. Silly me. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Oh, yeah. I was going off of uh, this picture. Where you can see both of his arms are not in the sleeves. But... That's a good point, too. 
And I do think the bloodstain is probably a better point. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maybe this was a Thanatos gambit. I just... I just had an idea. The fact that Maki is so sure about this. So, okay, hear me out. But again, this sort of... This is kind of... This idea is relying on the idea that the killing game would continue, which... Doesn't really make sense, because... I think a lot of people were assuming that the killing game was over, because Kokichi said so. So, maybe this doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm just gonna say it anyway. Uh, the thought goes... Maybe... Maybe Kaito, knowing he was gonna die... I, okay, I don't know about the particulars, but maybe he forced Kokichi to kill him. Something like that. Again, it's a bit odd, but we know Himeko got him the crossbow, got him the poison. Maki probably got the exosol. It sounds like, you know, if, if Maki rode up in that exosol and... Kaito had Kokichi by bow point and, I don't know, poisoned him and threatened, like, hey, we have an antidote, do what we say. I don't know. <laughs> it, it feels like they did have a lot on their side. Maybe they forced Kokichi to kill Kaito just so that when the trial came, uh, they'd be able to get him take Kaito down, or take Kokichi down. But again, that relies on them thinking that the trial would still happen, and that, and again, even if they thought that was the case, they still thought Kokichi was the mastermind, so you, you that's them assuming that Kokichi would act fairly. So, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I don't think this is the case. So, I don't know. I still think... Kaito planned something with Maki. I, I, th I think that's pretty... pretty firm in that. It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I believe that. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Oh man, what is this gonna be? Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! What? Why is an exosol here? And why is it standing where Kaito is? Haha, <laughs> whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? Uh, what? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. Say what? <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! 
Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Okay, I... This... Hmm. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Open, open up the dang Exosol. Show me who's in that cockpit. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What did you say? All righty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Okay, I didn't even know what to... Hmm. What? Well, that sucks. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. I'm gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy! See? If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible! Okay... How many layers of... BS are we operating under right now? I feel like there's so many... Ugh... There's the camera... There's... There's this Exosol here... Like, what? I feel like we've taken so many twists and turns, and yet I feel like we're just starting. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic... Okay, but how, how serious... Definitely Kaito. How seriously were we to take exactly what we saw? Because you see those three buttons... Right there, on the edge of the sleeve. I didn't see those on the sleeve that we saw in that video, right? Now, what am I supposed to take with that? Just that, w was the video we saw there just less detailed? As in, you know, like in the game, less detailed. Versus, you know, this picture? Or is there actually something weird going on here? 
See, look. Well, hang on. I, I could probably get a better look at it in the menu. No, I guess not. But look in the uh, at that sleeve. One, it's not hanging as far out. I don't see the buttons, and I don't see the I don't see the hole with the blood. So I'm already suspicious. I mean, you'd think. I mean, that's. Kaito's pretty detailed there. Would they make that mistake? Oh, poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. I can't believe he died with his guts and his brains splattered all over that machine. You don't need to go into detail, Himiko. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... Yeah, there's that too. Unless that was just a ruse. <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Okay, but we definitely heard Kaito's voice, right? Maki was convinced. So what's the deal? Is, is it just something this machine can do? Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh, man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial, I took that footage for proof, so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But... <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean... you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. Okay, Shuichi, I think we need to do something here. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Ashima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes! Man, are we gonna... <laughs> I just had a thought. What if they actually played it straight, and it is... And it, it, it actually is exactly as it seems to be. But... Now, nah, I'm gonna trust Shuichi's intuition here. And my own initial intuition. That this is obviously going... Really weirdly. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. Yeah. All three. What if the Mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that... No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. I think... Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? 
If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? Yeah, again, not necessarily suicide or accident. That's not possible. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, Urs, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. Well, technically, Maki, all that footage showed was Kaito in the press and the press killing him. It did not show who pressed the button. Oh, why opportunity? Why opportunity? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi there. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Okay. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime no. was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Oh. Wait, no, maybe not. We know that the press was, uh... Hang on. There's no... Oh, we can't see the cable over there. Doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Hang on, let me try this. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. With Kokichi then. Kokichi's the mastermind of the There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Hmm. Nope, video. that was the wrong button. Was it Kaito in the hangar? Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Okay, let's try this. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. No, no, dang it. That's the wrong thing. Uh. There's no doubt that Kaito got crushed to death. Kaito got crushed to death. Kaito got crushed to death. Wait, what? Uh. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got The dang... Wow, that is... Okay, I'm so... 
I'm not sure if I hit the dang thing. There's no doubt that he's the culprit. Footage from earlier, right? I still got No. Okay, it doesn't work. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Okay, just wanted to be absolutely sure. We saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. I think it might be the bloodstain in the bathroom there. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this Okay, I don't know what the lie is. And Kaito's killer. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We have that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. No. Okay. I was wrong. There's oh, maybe no it's the hanger. Maybe it's the hanger comment. Was with Kaito in the hanger. No. There's no okay. doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Oh, the you safety all saw function. That from earlier, right? I'm being silly. Kaito got crushed to death. Uh, but what statement? I wonder. Horrible. Who committed that crime? Was with Kaito in the hangar. Well, I just missed Which it. Which just leaves Kokichi then. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We also got footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Okay. That's wrong! <laughs> Alright. That was not a good showing, my bad. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. Okay, so what I thought the lie could be, I looked at all the statements, and the only one that looked promising was the broken machine. Oh, but that doesn't make sense, actually. We just saw the video, so sorry. <laughs> when, when I'm in the thick of it, it I, I can't... I obviously forget a few things. Okay, not sure what the lie was there. Um, and then I just thought the blood stain that may have been, oh, maybe he was killed somewhere else, but this this was also a similar idea, the fact that Kaito was dead before getting to the press. Okay, let's just continue. A safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Okay, we do see the blood there. On the sleeve. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? Okay, but we can't see the three buttons, and it doesn't look like the sleeve is out as far as it is when we see it later. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr- 
No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Probably the blood. This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh! That was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. This here? There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. Oops. No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with a weapon! Sorry for cutting you off, Himiko, but unfortunately, uh... It probably is. And I see why you're nervous, considering it looks like you're the one that delivered it. With my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. My goodness, how horrifying. Hey, Miko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. I mean, Himiko, are you just... What? I mean, you saw us go in the bathroom, right? Did you not go in the bathroom yourself? Did you not see that the crossbow was plainly in view on the floor? Why are you... Okay. This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? Look, Himiko. I really doubt you're actually the killer. Can you please just tell us what you know? She probably needs to be. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Okay. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see, so I'm the culprit. Hmm. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's okay. wrong! Even without going in the hangar, 
it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So hmm. if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? It's not, what, it's not about what we want, Maki. It's about what the truth is. Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Well, Maki, he hasn't accused anyone. It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. Maki, that's not fair. You're always suspicious of your friends. This is so strange. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. I'm glad Sumugi is just... <laughs> it seems her purpose this trial is to just point out when people are acting weird. What? Are you after my small hole too? Uh... See? Well, that's definitely weird. I agree. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprits! This is uh, quickly spiraling out of control. Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit! Oh man. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar! I was a little bit behind my magic! Did not come from the crossbow. There's a good and way to work around that at all. So I went then who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi did I'm the one who me. shot Kaito! Okay. What? I'm the number I one suspect because I was in the hangar. If I you are the crime scene. my magic! What do you Did mean you the the magic? There's a good magic source around there. So I went then there and see one suspect. 
Kokichi device. I'm the one. What? I got blocked. Or did I get blocked? There's a good magic source around there. So I went there and I'm the number one suspect. Kokichi did I'm the one who shot Kaito. Ah. Why am I the number one suspect? I was in the hangar. I was only replenishing my magic. So I I'm the number one suspect. Kokichi, I'm the one who's strong. Control. Am I hitting the? Hmm. I mean, I can't get, I can't do the one where it says she went there empty-handed. One suspect, because I was in the hangar. What do you mean? Not come from the crossbow. There's a good I know I could have gotten it from your research lab. So I went then there and found the number one suspect. Kokichi, I'm the one who shot Kaito. Can maybe that one then? Number one suspect. Who are you? Did not come from. Then who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi did What? It just didn't let me do hit it. Hang on. Man, it's so hard. Am I getting blocked by the... Let me try one more time with this. Son of a gun. It happened again. Did not come in the There's a good I know could have gotten it from your research lab. So I went then there who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi did I'm the one who shot Okay, so that's not it. I was wrong! Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm I'm actually stumped. Did not come in the There's a good I know it's a gun from your research lab. So I went Then who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi did. I'm the one who shot Kaito. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm the number one suspect because I was in the hangar. If you are the culprit. Oh, wait a sec. Then explain the crossbow. There's a good magic source around there. So I went there and found the I'm the number one suspect. Holy cow. I completely... You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? Okay, so previously, in the last trial, there was a moment during one of the mini-games where... Um, the, the, the ones where it has the letters scrolling across the screen and you have to light up 
the uh, you can light it up, and then you have to pick the letters to form the words. And I had completely forgotten that uh, you can, you know, press the slow down button, and that makes your own light for a little while. And I was thinking, well, why didn't they ever tell me that? And uh, then people told me, no, actually, it did tell you that. You just completely forgot. So I feel like that must have been a similar case there. I had completely forgotten that you could do that. I don't think I've even needed to do that for any other trial. So, oh, man, that was that was stressful. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. It's stressful because, you know... Okay, never mind. I think you understand why it's stressful. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. N no! That was probably... Sumugi cosplaying as me! Sorry, Himiko, but we know that Sumugi has the you-can't-dress-up-as-real-people disease. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character? Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's... the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. Look, Himiko, just come clean. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? I know it looks bad, but seriously, we're not we're not out to accuse you. We just we want to get to the truth. And even if it doesn't look good for you, we still need to hear your side of the story. Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Okay, just let's all stop. Let's take it from the top. Start. Tell us what. Why did you bring it? When did you bring it? What was it like when you brought it there? Just give us the whole story. You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you. If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying. Oh no, another one. Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Another true statement. And that's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. 100% exact, Amundo. Why does this all sound so fishy? Totally agree. Okay. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. I agree. Okay, it looks like that was a lie opportunity, but my uh, my health I don't think was very he low. Use the crossbow more accurately. She couldn't use it. Yeah, my health was very low, so I didn't really feel like risking it there. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well... What if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So, I lied. 
I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. <laughs> Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. By Kaito, right? That's it! Was it... Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, I hate you. But I like you. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart! Yeah, that was my... That was the feeling I got. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died and... I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think he was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Okay, I'm not sure we needed every detail there, but... Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. Three arrows. No. Oh no! And one of the clothes. This is it! Okay. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. That's my question. Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. 
because in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It's very strange for myself and Shuichi to be on the same side of, with Monokuma, but here we are. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. Okay, I was gonna bring this up. I was just kind of waiting to get to a point, and it looks like it's now with the, the game itself bringing it up. If it is Kokichi, I feel like Kokichi's not acting like he normally does. Like, if... How to explain this? I feel like Kokichi has a more wide range of 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 emotion. Is it emotion that I'm going for? Right now, the, the, whoever that Exosol is is kind of playing this sort of almost caricature of Kokichi. Is, is what the sense I'm getting? Where he's kind of like wacky and is lying all the time. Um, but, like, here's something suspicious. This Exosol, Kokichi, has never once insulted, uh, Kibo. I was waiting. You know, there were a few times where Kibo would say something, and then, you know, at that point, you'd think that's where Kokichi would, you know, throw in a, a robot insult, but it just never happened. So... Yeah, I am getting suspicious of this. And again, it's so strange that the, the, the voice inside the Exosol was able to perfectly replicate uh, Kaito's voice, and no one seemed to question that. Uh, I mean, what's the deal? Are we thinking that Kokichi is just that good of a... has a, that good of a Kaito... Um, impression or what? what? What's the what's the thought here? And it's strange. Why is Monokuma be bringing this up? Huh. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. Yeah, but Kaito's did too. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Monokuma, what's your game? What? Why? Are you, what is? What is going on? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Okay, there we go. Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. The Luminary of the Stars has arrived. This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. Yeah, sure. What? How does this even... Like, we're all here. Look, okay, we saw that video, and whether or not it's supposedly not doctored and it's not been on any computer. So I guess I really have to accept that Kaito is just dead, right? Am I ready to cross, to cross that Rubicon? Are we ready to... That's not how that phrase works. Forgive me, that, that that's not appropriate. Um, am I ready to just accept that? Because even still, there's still a little part of me that doesn't want to believe it. But 
that looked, uh... That looked pretty definitive. And again, if we don't think it's Kokichi, then... Everyone else is here. Tsumugi is here, Maki's here, Himako's here, Kibo's here, I'm here, or Shuichi's here. Now the video that we saw, it didn't display... Okay, yeah, we can see the whole... What would you call that? Bench or table? Whatever that... The press that Kaito's laying on. It looks like we can see, you know, both sides of it. So, Kokichi isn't there. But, obviously when this recording was made, the cable hadn't been cut yet, right? So it still had power. Kokichi's clothes were sh flushed down the toilet. I really want to think that both of them are dead. And then maybe, maybe they, after this video was taken, they raised it again and then crushed Kokichi too. But the thing is, who, who is, who is that? Who, who would have done it? Even if we think, again, we th we're thinking Maki's hiding something. But Maki's not in that Exosol right now. Did someone use the? <laughs> Did someone use the resurrection spell when we were looking? And someone's back. Like, what? What am? What am I supposed to think here? There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that! Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. What? I only... What? Uh... What? Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. I mean, if if we... I, I picked him because the, the clearest evidence we have is Kaito is dead. It, it's the video that we saw. I think it could be... Again, I have no idea what it would be, but I think there's it could be something crazy like both of them are dead. But if I, I could only pick one right now, it would have to be Kaito. And that would mean it is Kokichi in there, but... I don't know. Kaito is already dead. Oh, that sucks to say. Oh, man. Yeah, I, it's going to be really interesting when I finish this Let's Play. And uh, if, you have, if you've seen any of my playthroughs before, which, you know, this is Danganronpa 3, and you'd think if you were watching this, you would have at least watched my DR2 playthrough. Or, may, or maybe not. Maybe you only care about DR3. Or DRV3. Um, but in any case, um, I like to... In my sort of summary at the end, I like to talk about the characters, and I'll... I feel like there's going to be a lot to say about Kaito. 
uh, when we get to him. Hmm. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! All right, let's give it everything we've got! Oh, one of these, huh? <laughs> the Exosol's just down there. Oh my. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Lucky! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind. Lucky! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Oh, man. It's nice to see Maki and Shuichi on the same side. Feels like that hasn't been the case for a little while. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. Man, I'm with you, Shuichi. But the evidence... The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? <laughs> Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! Oh boy. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. Okay. When the crossbow fired, 
Taken. The other two are still my research. Still, only one. There we go. That's wrong. Why would you say that, Himiko? Wait, Himiko. What do you mean one arrow? Hmm? Well, I only gave oh. you the one arrow, so. That's pretty big. Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one. Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. Maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. Huh. Do you remember how before I was wondering about the sleeve in the video? If you look at this picture now, it doesn't have those three buttons that are on the... Uh, let's see. I, do we even have a better picture of that? Yeah, see those three buttons? Doesn't even show up there, huh? So, is it just that the art is in inconsistent? Hmm. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Oh no. Okay. So far, From the start, from the start of what? Thank you. 
Who brought the two arrows? Well, I don't know that. That's what we were trying to figure out. I'm gonna say a third party. Maybe it was Maki. arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? Oh no. Uh, okay. Nope. Oh, I see. Exosol. Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. Okay, this is where the hangar, the uh, electro hammer and everything, this is where th this comes from. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I could tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? Looks like it. But... Can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi... It's surprisingly easy! If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosol and infiltrated the hangar. See, isn't it weird how this Kokichi has just never insulted Kibo? I mean, that's weird, right? He's always taken every opportunity to just mess with him. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you, that's impossible. There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Okay. Don't 
If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remote. The Electro Hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an Exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. Oop, I missed. You're right, it's impossible! If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remote. The electro hammers went in action. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting inside would have been impossible. Damn it! Okay, so that's the hammer. The they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. So getting it impossible. Nope. Damn it. If someone was piloting the exosol. They could have used it to enter the hangar. Maybe this? No. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Up to the hangar for four exercises. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remote. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. Oh, wait. So getting inside one would be impossible. You're right, it's impossible. Hang on, I think I see it. If someone was calling the exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Hanger, there were four exercises. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remote. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, mm -hmm. all the hammers were still recharging. Ah, shucks. Oh, I hit it. That's wrong! Okay, that was simpler than I thought. Alright. Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? Okay, well, I think it has to be Maki. Well, I took the long way around. Yeah. It's you! 
Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Yep. She didn't have it. Maki was the only one without an Electro Hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the Electro Hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll kill your magic. Oh my. Why are you doing this? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you. Yes. Huh? Ooh. All right. Yes, I'm the third party. I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit. Look, I I want to believe you. I just you should. Okay, hang on. We'll we'll speak in a second. You're right. Nope. I use hey. the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots no. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll cut through That's your not words. all that was there. Okay, here's what I wanted to say. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. I wanted to say I feel. Again, this goes to the whole if there was a rift that was opened up between Shuichi and Kaito, um, and also if I can't remember who's the one that said it, but someone mentioned that. Maki's friendship, burgeoning friendship with Kaito might have actually started to develop into something more serious. Uh, maybe that's why she didn't trust us, but um, I feel what I what makes me sad is I, I wish Maki had trusted Shuichi enough that like, I, I want to believe her when she says she's not the culprit. The thing is, sh she should know Shuichi well enough at this point to understand that you know, he wouldn't immediately jump on her and declare that she's the culprit. He would follow the evidence, and and so even if she's even if she's suspicious, I wish she would have just trusted Shuichi. But I don't know. Maybe that's. I mean, clearly that's easy for me to say. You know, here I, I'm not in a killing game, but okay. You know what? Forget I said anything. I understand. It's it's stressful and not always gonna. I mean, it's difficult. Okay, I get it. 
I get where she's coming from. So even if I wish things were different, I, I get it. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? There's no way she is! Because why would she kill Kaito? I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... Uh-oh. That's not good. That's it! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? I mean, the only thing I could think is that maybe she tried to shoot Kokichi and missed? Or something? If, if she is the culprit? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? This is sounding a lot like, uh, what was her name? Kurumi, when she was trying to sacrifice the rest of us to get back out there. Man, can you imagine if Kurumi had won her trial? And then she would have left this ship and seen what the outside world was like? Oof. That would have, uh... That would have been pretty bad. Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Look, Maki, I, I think you really need to trust Shuichi here and just tell us exactly what happened. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Again, no, no Kibo insult. Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Oh. Okay, what do you mean, Shuichi? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? I guess that is a choice you have. What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. Wow, what a move. Shuichi's... I mean... This is such, this is quite the play. Basically, say, He's basically saying, Maki, tell us the truth. If you did kill Kaito by accident, or... I mean, I don't know what, the, what exactly happened, but if you are the killer, and it is your intention to get Kokichi killed, tell us, and then we can just throw the trial, essentially. And then you'll get out of here, and, and Kokichi will be doomed. Is, I mean, that's what I think he's saying, and that's... That's quite something. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Are you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And 
so, Marky began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things. You're <laughs> ruining the mood. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. All righty. Break time. Okay, so we're quickly going to save. Well now. Okay. Obviously, we're going to call it there. Oh boy, two hours, huh? Well. Okay. Well, obviously, we're going to call it there. But now I have to decide if I actually want to uh, <laughs> finish the rest of it tonight. Um, there's stuff there. It is. I do have a day off, but there is. There are a few things I need to do. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go get something to eat, and then I'll decide. How does that sound? Okay. Well, this is certainly uh, twisting and turning and twisting and turning. Um, the big question I have now, obviously we need to hear Maki's story. My big question though, again, is I feel like there has to be another big twist here. And my, the sense I get is that maybe it's, it's Kokichi being dead. Maybe there's some, like, maybe this is an AI we're talking to or something. I, I just, but... The thing is, wouldn't that be kind of unfair in the rules that, you know, Monokuma said? But, I don't know. I don't know what... Should we just take that at face value? I don't know. Okay. Alright. Let's call it then. I've been the Warb. This has been Danganronpa V3. I hope you're all doing alright. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.